It's June the 25th. This is our daily update. It's coming up to 7 p.m. So if you're watching this on Tuesday, June the 25th, at any time between 7 and 8 p.m., turn me off now. Have a look in the comments below. Click on the link and join us on our fortnightly networking webinar. It's a great platform where we all get to discuss everything property. We get to ask questions. We get to discuss ideas and strategies amongst ourselves. And today I'm going to try, if the team will let me, focus on commercial to residential conversion. So that's really exciting. Click on the link below. We start at 7 p.m. Get yourself on there. And don't forget to watch this video again later. Now, on the 18th of June, I put out a question to all of our members on the school platform saying, what are your fears? What are your anxieties? What are your questions? What's stopping you from getting into property? And I had so many responses. The second response was from Beth and Rowley. She asked, how do we set up a limited company and find funding for our first flip? Well, that in itself is too questions. The first question is, it's really easy to set up a limited company. You can simply go online. Jamie French will send you a link, which is from the Tide Banking Corporation. They will actually pay for your company registration if you choose to have a bank account with them. So that's quite interesting. So it's really easy to set up a limited company. If you want any assistance in this, I would advise that you get an accountant because you must have the correct SIC code. This describes the function of your business so that's got to be right from the get-go but everything else is pretty much simple and straightforward about setting up a limited company if you've got any questions post them in the forum here or like i say grab an accountant get them they do it every single day of the week so they're really really au fait with how to set up limited companies secondly funding now betting there's two ways that you can do funding and i could talk all night about two of my probably favorite topics here the first way is what i call institutional funding so that's looking at funders such as mortgage providers, bridging lenders, institutions like that that are designed as banks and, lens and lending institutions to lend you the money for your property journey. It's essential you get a good finance broker. That will help you through what will be quite a challenge of finding the right product with the right lender. So grab yourselves a good finance broker. We have one on board on the school platform. That's Jamie French notebook money i'll pop his contact details in the link below so you can go on his website you can book yourself an appointment you can speak to him or one of his team about how you intend to structure your journey and how his finance can help you another great way is what we call private finance now that's things like looking at getting a joint venture partner now you may be good at property but you simply don't have the funds to move on forward there may be somebody else out there who is not interested in property. They're far too busy. Perhaps they're cash rich and time poor, but they want a better return on their savings. So that person could be the ideal person for you to partner up with and do a joint venture partner. More coming later on during the daily updates. In the meantime, guys, I wish you a very happy Tuesday. Hope you've enjoyed the sunshine and I look forward to speaking.